What's up ladies and gentlemen, Kings Reaper here again bringing you the new game that I just found on Steam. It was released today and it's called Against the Storm. So this is some sort of a survival village building old civilization restoration game. Yeah, that's put very simply. Yeah, it reminded me when I saw some pictures of it and stuff to something like Civilization 4 where you get to build your own cities. Not as much to Civilization games, more like to... Hmm, how's it called? Banished, you brain dead pig. The game where you have to survive with your villagers, you get stranded somewhere and then you tell them what to do and stuff. Oh gosh, I forgot. Anyway, let's get into this game and see what this game is all about. So, pick your buildings. Okay. Um, all. Oh, so I have maximum of seven, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what this is. Beaver house. Building specific beavers. It has three places. Two places. Two places. Uh-huh. What's this? Okay, never mind. Foragers camp, food production, food production, housing, housing, housing. Uh, I guess we'll go with the food production and housing for beavers and human house. Embark. Well, this is a shit storm. All okay. right. Press space to resume. Can plant seeds. Okay, that will... Tutorial result. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are... Aha. Uh -huh. So what do we get here? Main storage. Great. What is this? This is the heart of the colony. Worker slot. One wood per second for one bonus resolve. Stack four times. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what can we do here? Roads, destroy, resource gathering. Oh, okay, let's build a lumber camp here. Food production, forger's camp. Yeah. This might go... Oh. We might build this as well. Housing. Has four places. Human house. Oh. Right. So, I guess we'll build this um, somewhere around here as well. Yeah, yeah, I know how to rotate. That's fine. Has enough place for... Four, I guess we'll need more than just one. So might as well place it like this. Okay, housing, city buildings, industry. Poet uh, po pottery, we can produce pottery here. Okay, good. City buildings, trading post. Traders from the capital can station here and offer their wares. Okay, so I'm pretty much low on resources. Hold on. Wood. Right. Storage. How can I tell them to go work there? Assign wood counters in the lumber camp. How? Uh, right. How to assign them? Hello? What's this? Oh, so here I can see all of them. Okay. Okay. Builder, 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 builder. They are all builders. 
great. Hold on. Let's pause this. Because the time is going on. And I don't see... Right click. Left click. Three of them. Can I... Uh, Did I assign them? No. No, 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 no. If I click on them, ah, lumber camp, perfect. And the beavers can go into here, perfect. And the lizards can go here, I guess. So I still have like two workers unemployed, I guess. Hey, let's continue on. So, they should each have their own job. Oh. Oh. Did he just die? Oh, they all died. Oh, damn. Pick the small group of beavers. Ooh. Orders. Right. Collect some stuff and... Okay, 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 okay. Some other... Okay, so my entire village is dying due to the fact that I couldn't figure out <coughs> how to tell them to go gather food and stuff. This is not good. Okay, I, I guess we'll have to go through the tutorial quickly. So I'll kind of read it for myself just to figure out what this game is all about. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after reading the entire tutorial and starting to realize what's what and how to do what, I had to restart since my entire village died within the first two minutes, right? Right. So basically, this is the heart of the city. So here is where you put in the firewood and we need to dedicate a worker to it to keep the fire going, which is going to protect our villagers from the rain that constantly falls which means we immediately need to build a lumber camp we are gonna build it somewhere around here yes uh, basically each and every worker that is unemployed is gonna be building or working on buildings to construct them and once they are done we can put them in for work like we did here the lizard so what we need to do now is determine what resource we have around here so I can see we have a stone and we need to build a stone man's camp in order to collect it and it needs to be right next to it or at least that's what the tutorial said so we can also build where is it rain collector now, Stonesman Camp. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, if I put it further away, it's not gonna work, right? So, let's try to put it, like, here. Then we have here some roots. We need Foragers Camp. Okay, so we're gonna build a... Not a scavenger. Food production. Forager's camp, exactly. That's what we're gonna build right here next to it. Bam. Okay, let's resume. So somebody needs to keep up the fire going all the time. And I'm gonna let them construct these buildings that we started construction on. Okay, come on. We are low on wood. Finish some constructions. Come on, boys. Good. So this is now done. And we can immediately dedicate... Let's say one human, one beaver. Let's see this. So... Homelessness. Okay, they need a shelter. Hope. Mm hmm can I see any other bonuses? No other effects. No other penalties. Fine. So they all want a shelter. 
right how are we doing on wood we have zero wood uh, we need to get down on wood chopping immediately and you can also decide in which direction or where do you want to cut wood so let's mark the trees in this direction yes perfect so now they're gonna start chopping trees over there Okay, let's see. Stone gathering. Only human can work here. And let's put another beaver, maybe. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Let's continue on. Keep on building. Is it done? Almost. Now it's done. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's where we need the beavers. Okay, so I'll have to remove the beaver here. Put another lizard there. And then smack another beaver in here. And I'm going to leave this one dude unemployed for now. Since I'm going to need um, to build a shelter. So hold on. Housing. Shelter. Four places. Human house. What's the difference? This costs eight wood. This is eight wood and two stone. Beaver house. We need... What's that? That is... Reed. Okay. I can't read. Um, yeah. Let's place it right here. Okay. Let's keep on going. So they're chopping woods. These guys are working on those roots. Good. So we got 10 more wood. Nice. That's nice. Four woods. Okay, the wood is going down. Come on, give me more wood. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh. The queen offers a cornerstone to pick that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Choose wisely as you won't be able to change it. So we can pick uh, tools, which we have enough for now. Plus one to read production. Okay, this isn't actually that bad. Or we can get some more people in the village. Hmm... Is this like permanent? We get a certain amount of production per hour, per day? Uh, you know what? We're gonna get this. Perfect. Okay, so somebody should be working on this slowly. And I have in total nine... Yeah, we have like nine workers. Okay. So let's check. We have some orders. So basically these are ob objectives that we need to complete in order to satisfy the queen. If we are not delivering that in time, then she gets more and more pissed. And eventually I guess she is just going to send the army and kill us. Okay, Wagon of Reed. Then she needs... We need to discover two glades, and this is lumber camp. We need two lumber camps, and we need some wood. Okay, let's get back to it. We are going to discover something here soon. Okay, we got some wood. How are we doing here? Ooh, I'm going to sacrifice. Oh, okay. So I guess the... F Fire. Huh? Small reed field and one tool. Okay, perfect. So we discovered something new. That's really nice. That's great. We discovered some tools. We discovered some reed fields. Okay. Is there nobody working on this? It says 0%. Hold on. So I have like two, 
five, seven. One of them is working. Here. Where? What? What am I missing? Maybe he didn't get the materials that he needed. Oh yeah, that could be it. He probably didn't get the materials that he needed. Okay. So let's select some more woods for chopping, like right here. Yeah, perfect. Good, 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 good. We're doing good. This time at least nobody is dying instantly. So that's good. And I wonder if these, like, resources are infinite or no. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that we're gonna need some more housing. We could build a human house, but I think we're gonna need a shelter. Yeah, another shelter would be better, to be honest. Okay, so we need to gather some wood. How are we doing on that? Oh, I need another... Ah. Resource gathering, lumber camp. Uh, this one we're gonna build... Oh, I'm gonna build it somewhere like here. Yeah, good. How is the fire going? The fire is doing fine, perfect, okay. Okay, so, so far, all of these guys want to stay. They're satisfied. That's great. That's amazing. So I need to keep... Oh, so the resources do go away. Okay, I guess... Oh, I guess the queen is unsatisfied. Well, ma'am, we are working on it, you know, but... Like, okay, I can remove this beaver from here. Yeah. So he's going to start building and constructing buildings with the other guy. So we have quite a lot of wood. Okay, so what do I do with this now? There's, they are employed, but... Uh... I don't think they can force delivery now. Yeah, they can't gather anything anymore. So I can actually pull them out of that. And potentially get them in here. Yeah, so they can start chopping woods as well. So I'm going to set another location to be discovered. Something like that. They can go and chop those trees down. And since... Okay, what do I do with this now? Delivery in progress. Ooh, farmers can harvest... Okay, they can f harvest what? Ooh, these guys are getting on... They are becoming unsatisfied. Uh, hold on. So, we need some food production. So, what do I need to plant next to this? At scavenger camp. Is this scavenger camp? No, that's forager camp. Farm field. On fertile soil. Uh, resource gathering. Yeah, this is the scavenger camp. So we're gonna build it like right over there. Why are you guys unsatisfied? I don't know. This is maybe because they don't have a place to live in? <laughs> it could be. The queen is getting impatient. What do we need for her? Yeah, we do have that. Deliver. Perfect. Glades. Uh, yeah, we are gonna discover another glade soon. What else? Clay. Um, 
right. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going for now. So we, we are gathering a lot of wood. Hold on, let's see industry. They can make pottery here. Okay, city buildings, trading post. This could be actually good. So we need quite a lot of wood, actually. And we can build roads as well. Stone road. Oh, yes. Perfect. Then another stone road. Maybe like this. Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. And this is pretty much, guys, where I'm gonna end up the first episode of this game. So I'm not gonna push the entire video of one hour or so. But you get the point of the game, what it is, how it is. And if you did enjoy this first 20 minutes of a gameplay, please just keep going through. You'll see the episode 2 and episode 3, in which I believe we're gonna get to the end of this entire review of the game. I hope you enjoyed the game. I did a lot. It's actually quite an interesting game. And if you did, please leave a like, give it a comment. And if you want, continue watching this small playthrough or small demo of this game. I'll see you next time, guys.